Welcome to the flu transmission simulation. In this simulation, you will investigate which method is best for preventing the spread of the flu. This simulation places you in an elementary school cafeteria. To begin, choose one of the factors on the cafeteria tray to test. In this case, I will choose the none option, which means that no preventative measure is being taken to curb the spread of the flu. After you've chosen a factor, click on the run option on the milk carton. The ketchup packet will spill onto the napkin to show how long the flu has been spreading. Biohazard symbols will appear over the heads of the students who have contracted the flu. When the ketchup finishes spilling and time is up, click the Show Graph button on the lunch bag. This will bring up a graph that shows the number of flu infections over time for each factor. When you are done viewing the graph, click the Hide Graph button. You can also click on each specific week in the progress bar to see and count the number of students infected at that time. At this point, go ahead and choose another factor to test. Please note that you can test each factor as many times as you want. After you have tested all the factors, analyze the graph to determine which factor was the most efficient at curbing the spread of the flu.